So now let us solve a theorem on non-homogeneous pair of straight lines. So non-homogeneous equation. So that is in the form of ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2f5 plus c is equal to 0. So in order to represent it is a pair of straight lines. So now these conditions are to be satisfied. abc plus 2fgh minus af square minus bg square minus c square must be 0 and h square must be greater than or equal to ab, g square greater than or equal to ac, f square greater than or equal to bc. If at least one of the condition is not satisfied, then this equation does not represent a pair of straight lines. So now let us solve it now. So now the proof follows procedure. Let S is equal to AX square plus 2HXY plus BY square plus 2GX plus 2FY plus C is equal to 0 be represented by represented by represented by two lines one is L1x plus M1y plus N1 is equal to 0. Say equation because it does not pass through the origin. So next equation is L2x plus M2y plus N2 is equal to 0. So now we have, here very interesting here, we have see L1, L2. L1, L2 is x square coefficient that is a. So, L1, L2 is equal to a. Here, M1, M2 is equal to b. N1, N2 is c. So, now one more interesting L1, M2, L2, M1 that will be 2h. L1, M2 plus L2, M1 is equal to 2h. Now, see L1, N2 plus L2, N1 is 2g. L1 n2 plus L2 n1 is equal to 2g. What will be the 2f? Very simple. M1 n2 plus M2 n1. M1 n2 plus M2 n1 is equal to 2f. So, these we need to remember regarding this equation. So, now let us prove first one this one delta is equal to abc plus 2 fgh minus af square minus bg square minus c square is equal to 0 this we need to prove. Now consider consider first one consider here 2 f into 2 g into 2 h let us multiply these three. 2f into 2g into 2h. This equals to 2f is m1 m2 m1 n2 plus m2 n1 ok 2g. 2g is equal to l1 n2 plus l2 n1 and next 2h. 2h is L1 M2 plus L2 M1. I will tell you one logic. You remember like this. So, if you want to multiply this way, it takes a lot of time. It will be tedious and laborious. So, you remember this easy way. L1 L2 write down and put the bracket. Plus M1 M2 write down. Put the bracket. And plus N1 N2 write down. Put the bracket. And plus you write down that is 2 L1 L2 M1 M2 N1 N2. So what should you write? I will tell the technique here. L1 N2 means here L, L, L is there. Now we have to write the relation between M, N. So that means we can write here M1 square N2 square plus M2 square N1 square. Now relation between L and N you need to write L1 square N2 square plus L2 square and N1 square. Now you can expect value. 
So, n1, n2 means in between L and M you need to write. So, L1 square M1 square plus L2 square M2 square. If you want just multiply and take out L1, L2 common plus M1, M2 common and N1, N2 common and you will be getting same step itself only, but it saves time. So, now this is A square plus B square, A square plus B square, A square plus B square. A square plus B square means what is the formula we have? A square plus B square, we can write like this, A plus B whole square minus 2AB. So, with the help of this formula, these three terms can be simplified now. So, this can be written. So, now this we can write M1 N2 plus M2 N1 whole square minus 2 M1 N2 N1 N2 you can write it. So, now this equal to L1 L2 into M1 N2 plus M2 N1 whole square minus 2 M1 M2 N1 N2. Okay. What about uh, the next term? The next term will be M1 M2 into easily we can write L1 N2 plus L2 N1 whole square minus 2 L1 L2 N1 N2. Okay. So, this will be plus N1 N2 into N1 N2 into this we can write L1 L1 M2 sorry this is L1 M2. L2 M1 this will be L2 M1 ok. L1 M2 plus L2 M1 whole square minus 2 L1 L2 M1 M2 ok this right now. And also we have last one plus 2 L1 L2 M1 M2 N1 N2 right. Now, let us substitute these 6 values there. So, L1, L2 is A, A into M1, N2 plus M2, N1, 2F, 2F square is equal directly we can write 4F square, 4F square, okay, minus this will be 2BC, 2BC, okay. Next, we can write this way b into what is l1 that is 2g 4g square 4g square minus 2ac ok plus this will be n1 n2 means c this is 4h square minus 2ab plus we can write this will be 2abc 2a b c this we can write it ok. So, now the next step follows like this 2f into 2g into 2h is 2 2 ja 4 4 2 ja 8 8 f g h 8 f g h equals to ok. Uh, 4 a f square minus uh, 2 a b c next ok plus 4 b g square minus 2 a b c plus 4 c h square minus 2 a b c plus 2 abc minus 2 abc plus 2 abc gets cancelled we have this is equal to 4 af square minus plus 4 bg square plus 4 ch square minus 2 abc minus 2 abc minus 4 abc divide both sides by 4 if you divide both sides by 4 what do you get 2 fgh equal to 
ए एफ स्क्वायर प्लस बी जी स्क्वायर प्लस सी एच स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी सी ब्रिंग ऑल द टर्म दिस साइड देन वॉट यू गेट नो इफ यू ब्रिंग दिस साइड सो वी गेट लाइक दिस ए बी सी प्लस टू एफ जी एच माइनस ए एफ स्क्वायर माइनस बी जी स्क्वायर माइनस सी एस स्क्वायर इज इक्वल जी द कंडीशन हैज बीन अपटे दिस इज कॉल्ड डेल्टा ऑल्सो डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू सो हेंस वी हैव फ्रूव दिस वन फर्स्ट कंडीशन हैज बीन फ्रूव द सेकेंड कंडीशन आर टू बी फ्रूव नाउ सेकेंड कंडीशन आर टू बी फ्रूव so in the second one at least one is enough to prove let us prove h square greater than or equal to ab similarly we can prove g square greater than or equal to ac and also f square greater than or equal to bc so first you consider here consider h square minus ab first let us consider so this one multiply with 4 this can be written 1 by 4th of you can write 4h square minus 4ab right on so this is for our convenience so this we can write 1 by 4 times 2h whole square minus 4 into a into b here c we can write 2h for l1 m2 plus l2 m1 a for l1 m2 b for m1 m2 again right on so this is 1 by 4 of L one M two plus L two M one whole square, okay. Minus four L one L two M one M two. This is appears to be rather a plus b whole square minus four ab. Whose value is a minus b whole square? A means L two here actually. Sorry, this is uh, L one M two. L one M two plus L two M one. Uh, now. Rather, you can write L one M two minus L two M one whole square. This we can write one by four times L one M two minus L two M one whole square. This we can write L one M two minus L two M one by two whole square. That means it is a perfect square. Perfect square will be always positive or zero. That means greater than or equal to zero. So H square is greater than or equal to zero similarly we can prove we can prove we can prove g square greater than or equal to ac f square greater than or equal to bc hence theorem has been completed